I've always gotten along well with Rhonda. I, her, her personal experience is her personal experience. I, you know, it, it, when, when my name is mentioned, I can add something, but uh, I, you never really fault anybody for she's entitled to her opinion. I mean, I, I don't necessarily say I'm inclined to agree. So um, <laughs> a couple of other uh, quick questions here. Uh, we're going to uh, WrestleMania. Paul Heyman, who started off as a magazine photographer and a fanzine guy, and his heroes were Lou Albano, Fred Blassie, and the Grand Wizard of Wrestling. Going into the Hall of Fame, tell us about your dealings with uh, with Paul E. Paul is is a in a class unto his own. Uh, as you know, you've been around Paul. He is an absolute genius. Since he was he a teenager. A he is a mad scientist in every yeah. sense of the word. And Paul's fingerprints and footprints are throughout this business. He's, he's, I would put him, as far as influence, up there with the greats, with the uh, Dusty Rhodes, uh, you know, any of these great wrestling minds. Yeah. And I think it's really, really special to be in Philadelphia, uh, the city that has meant so much to Paul, despite being a New Yorker. Philadelphia is where ECW, you know, made their home and yeah. really changed the industry. And here right behind, all these years later. Right behind yeah. me. The, uh, the corner of Swanson and Rittner there, you know? <laughs> I, I wrestled there many, many times no, uh, in, in the old ECW arena. But I just, I think it's really, really cool and appropriate that for all of his contributions, Paul will get his moment in the sun on his own uh, because he is so proud to be a role player and to continue to add to this business in any way possible. And, and I truly think Paul is invaluable. He is one of the greatest minds this industry has ever known. And I'm grateful to have been able to be around him and learn from him. Um, there are times we disagree and, and things, you know, we, we see each other, see things differently. That doesn't mean one's right or one's wrong, but I, I, he's been a very positive influence throughout my career. I've learned so much from Paul and he's, he's taking a spot that he deserves in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to ask you one question. If you don't want to answer it, it's fine. And I generally don't ask these kind of questions. Um, but uh, the WWE right now, like you said, it, there's a whole different buzz about it. Everything's good and all that. When somebody like Ronda Rousey comes out with a book and everything is disparaging about WWE, what, what's your take on that? Listen, I, I take everything with a grain of salt. And listen, if you're in this business for any duration, you get used to letting that those sort of things roll off your back. Uh, everybody has a different experience in the WWE or in the, the wrestling business. Not everybody accomplishes what they set out to accomplish. Some people never expect to love it and fall madly in love with it. You look at a guy, you know, coming from a different world, like a Logan Paul, who, who is taken to this, like a fish to water. Amazing. And, and again, he's having a great, a, a very different experience. Rhonda came from the combat world, which is a very different world, despite being the same general flavor as, as wrestling, as WWE. Um, so I've always gotten along well with Rhonda. I, her, her personal experience is her personal experience. I, you know, it, it, when when my name is mentioned, I can add something, but uh, I, you never really fault anybody for, she's entitled to her opinion. I mean, I I don't necessarily say I'm inclined to agree. I may downright disagree sometimes, but people are entitled to their opinions and, and I'm sorry that she feels that way. Uh, she's got a lot of fans around the world who, who were grateful for her time here. Okay, very, very fair answer. Let's go over now, quick picks for WrestleMania. Are you ready? Now, I want I want to do this as Corey Graves, the fan, not the broadcaster. All right. Go All right. back to go back to your to your fan days. All right, let's uh, so, uh LA Knight versus uh, AJ Styles. Who do you pick and why? I think I, I have to pick LA Knight. Okay. Uh, and, which is hard because AJ Styles is my guy. I'm a big AJ Styles guy, but I think yeah. it's LA Knight's time. He's had maybe the best year of anyone on the roster. I think he's going to get that WrestleMania moment. Okay, Yeet versus no Yeet. <laughs> I gotta go Yeet. Okay. Uh, main event Jay. I, I I posted on on social media last year sometime. I think Jay's really hit his stride as one of the most complete superstars on the roster, and I think yeah. it's going to continue. Yeah, let's go with the uh, six pack uh, ladder match. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, well, the field isn't complete yet. It will be completed tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, uh, if you're watching this afterwards, you'll know who it is. If, if you're watching this afterwards, I think I still have to pick the Judgment Day. 
Okay. I think I think they're being everybody's sort of it, it made it a foregone conclusion, and I think the Judgment Day still stands a chance. Does Sami Zayn stand a chance against Gunther for the Intercontinental Title? It breaks my heart saying this, but no. Okay. All right. I, I okay. love Sammy to death. One of my favorite friends and opponents. But so this do is I. Gun, uh, so Gunther do to I. me, best best in the world right now. All right. Triple threat match. U.S. title. Randy Orton, RKO, KO, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul, the champion. Selfishly, I hope Logan Paul keeps it. I'm loving what he's doing right now. We all are. We all are. We all are. Uh, Women's World Championship, of course. Mummy, Rhea Ripley against the man, Becky Lynch. You can never bet against Becky, but Rhea Ripley right now is on a whole different level. I don't know the last time we've seen a woman with this sort of dominance. I don't see anyone knocking Rhea off for a while. Okay. Uh, Women's World Championship, of course, Bailey in her prime right now against EO Sky. I think it's a moment years in the making. I think Bailey finally does it on the grandest stage of them all. Okay, now the two main events. We're gonna first take the first night, Cody Rhodes and Seth frickin' Rollins against Roman Reigns, and it doesn't matter who the other guy is. I don't see any conceivable way that Seth and Cody beat Roman and Rock. Ooh. I just don't see it happening. I just think The Rock is too powerful right now. Roman is still just unstoppable, and Seth and Cody, have a history and it's not a good history. It's not guys that want to rely on one another. It's it, it's exciting. I'm sure the match is going to deliver in every way, shape and form, but I just don't see uh, Seth and Cody picking up the win on Saturday night. Has The Rock got ring rest? Ring rust? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, physically speaking, I don't know that I've ever seen him as big and bad as he is right now. Oh, the Rock okay. is an absolute monster right now. All right, so does Cody finish his story on night two? Yes. I okay. think Cody needs to finish the story. All right, Corey Graves, where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find me at WWE Graves on X and on Instagram. And keep an eye out on X because we are launching WWE Speed coming Speed. up this week. It's exclusive to the X platform. It's going to be unlike anything we've done recently. 